Hello and welcome back to the channel. Did you hear about the lawyers who got into big trouble for using ChatGPT for their work? They submitted non-existent judicial opinions and fake citations all created from thin air from ChatGPT. This is not just a cautionary tale, it's a wake-up call for every one of us who is using AI at work. ChatGPT can confidently give you wrong answers and if you use them, you could end up in hot waters just like these lawyers. But luckily, there's a way to reduce and almost eliminate these errors. It's called RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. It's super powerful and one of the best techniques to make ChatGPT or LLMs like ChatGPT useful, practical and safer. So let's talk about it today. The best way to understand RAG, I think, is by going in the reverse order. Generation, Augmentation and Retrieval. We'll talk about each of them one by one. ChatGPT now has 200 million plus users. You are probably one of them. And you may have seen how ChatGPT generates coherent responses to your queries and questions. It's generating text, the next text, based on your questions and queries and using its training. Now, it has the knowledge of the complete internet and so it can answer a wide variety of questions. But the problem comes when it does not have the information that it needs to generate responses. And then it's like that confident sales guy who makes up stuff which sounds very real but is completely wrong. Does that sound right? What's your experience with ChatGPT? Share your experiences in the comments below. So how can ChatGPT get these responses right? Obviously, logically, it needs that right information. Apart from that world knowledge or that knowledge from the public internet, how about it having that specific knowledge to generate the responses? If only we can provide the right knowledge along with the prompt to the LLM, it can generate right responses. And this is what is called as augmentation within the RAG. We provide additional specific documents to the LLM along with our prompt and this is called as grounding. You may have seen that with ChatGPT, you can attach documents now along with the prompt, and this you can do within Claude as well. So for the lawyer's case, he could have attached specific case documents for the cases that he wanted the AI to refer to. And with that additional context provided by those specific documents, the responses would be more specific and the cases would have been cases that it they could have referred to in court. Now that solves the problem of the AI generating useful responses, but we can make it better. What if the AI can get these documents for these cases automatically and provide it to the prompt so that it at the runtime provides right responses based on the documents. So that's retrieval or R in RAG. For retrieval, what we do is index relevant documents and store them in a database so that we can retrieve them at runtime and attach them to the prompt to provide it to the LLM so that it can generate correct responses based on the documents provided. The documents are retrieved at runtime using the latest semantic search using the vector embeddings. This retrieval and augmentation is what makes the AI more useful and practical for our purposes. It makes the AI more safer and more reliable by ensuring that the responses are grounded in reliable information. And so that is RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation. And this is a powerful technique as you can see. And before we proceed, if you like to dive into powerful frameworks like RAG, I would encourage you to check out Bot Nirvana where you can future-proof your career and organization with AI. So RAG is a powerful technique that converts this hallucination generating AI models to one that generates responses grounded in reality and won't get you in trouble. You see, these new AI models are an emerging intelligence that can partner up and do infinitely useful things for you. For that, the AI needs to know about your brand, your customers, your employees, your partners, and so on. And once AI has this information, you can use this intelligent partner to work with you effectively. One more thing that you can do with RAG is that you can provide updated information to the AI models, which means that in the lawyer's case, they could have given the latest cases so that the AI can use that information to generate the briefs. 
and with RAG, you can rank these documents and provide the documents with the densest information to the AI model to generate the best responses. And finally, you can also provide structured data as part of RAG. You see a lot of data within the corporate are usually in the structured databases or even in spreadsheets. And with RAG, you can also index this structured data so that the AI model can use that data as well to provide the responses. So those were some reasons why RAG is a powerful technique that you can use to make these AI models infinitely more useful for you and your organization. So now, how can we use this infinitely useful technique for our for our work. One of the best ways I think you can use RAG within corporates and organizations is to use the Copilots. The Microsoft 365 Copilot, which comes along with your Word or Excel, comes with this Microsoft Graph, which is trained on the organization's data. So depending on how your IT team has trained your Copilots, it can provide super useful responses with the context of your documents or spreadsheet plus your company data. So now how do we do this for ourselves for our personal use? I've been exploring various tools. One of the tools that I've seen is useful to create a rag quickly is Anything LLM. With Anything LLM, you can drag drop your documents and it creates a rag for you with vector databases in the backend so that you can use this index documents for your queries. I've seen that the queries that the Anything LLM produces is grounded on the documents that we provided for rag. By the way, if this is of interest to you, let me know in the comments and I'll create a detailed video regarding Anything LLM. For advanced implementation of rag, you would have to use tools like Langchain or if you're looking at no code options tools like Flowwise and within enterprises and larger organizations you can look at frameworks provided by cloud providers like Microsoft Azure, Amazon AWS or even Google GCP. For example, on AWS, you would use Bedrock for LLMs and AWS Kendra for vector databases and so on. So for each of these cloud providers, there are different frameworks available to implement RAG. As you can see, RAG is a super powerful technique that can make these new AI models super useful for you and your organization. Now, if you want the AI to be more useful, you want it to take actions. And that's what AI agents enable for you. AI agents is a paradigm shift and will change the technology landscape. I made a video on that. I'll leave it somewhere here. Thank you for watching today and I'll see you on the next one.